okay everyone in this video uh, uh, we will try to troubleshoot the issues uh, that you may face uh, in production uh, with your customers or you with, with your vendors uh, th these issues can be in your VOS configuration uh, or uh, uh, you know anything else so we we will use CDR reports to find out the issues okay so first of all we have to you know make a, a, so a soft phone then we'll make uh, uh, you know generate uh, error logs and then we'll troubleshoot by you know using CDR first of all uh, we'll go to customers uh, I'll just pick one account for the customer test and I'll add one phone here phone management add I'll just create a random phone with a random number password 1001 I'll make it international and apply now I have added you know uh, phone successfully I will go to my safe phone which is IBM I'm currently using I'll enter double one double zero one one double zero one and enter now you can see my soft phone has been successfully you know registered now first thing I'll make I'll just make a random on a fake number okay the call went through you, you see session in the progress the person you are calling is unavailable please try again then I received 503 service unavailable message I'll go to CDR to double check what message did I received okay I need to change let me show you again how did I open CDR I will go to CDR now the best part is uh, if you have high call volume and uh, you want to you know uh, find out issue with one customer the best option is you can click on on that customer go to CDR and select current day CDR this is the easiest ma easiest method to pull up the records of CDR for uh, for uh, you know selected customer I'll do this okay you see now this was a caller and this was the call number everything was fine since the number was fake uh, so I got you know service unavailable message if you go further you can see to which routing gate with this th this call was you know uh, sent to and all other information but the main key point is uh, we have to troubleshoot the issues with termination reason because every end call have a termination reason and we need to find out the issue using that termination reason now let's take an example uh, first of all let me open rates management now I will select a random number uh, this one okay I can see this number exists in our you know rate management but this number will be failed will will get failed okay let's try Okay. The person you are I calling is unavailable. For the Please call try again. Found. Hang up the call. Let's go back to CDR. Press filter. Okay, no available route. This means that uh, this is related with your routing gateway. Either routing gateway is blocked or you know the prefix of routing gateway is not not found in your uh, routing gateways so now let's go back and see okay you can see that in CDR I dial a number starting with 232 which means this 
prefix has to be in routing gateway but this prefix was not there so the call got failed so I will simply click this small button and I'll add 232 I'll click OK apply filter now let me call again the person you are calling is again, unavailable the call please is try again I will go back and try to find out the issue <coughs> sorry go back to CDR filter okay now this time the call is rejected uh, from the SIP server it went out correctly we can see you see call EIP which means call was sent to this this uh, 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 routing gateway but it was rejected from that server which means on our server there is no issue now what is the issue we need to fix this for this specific issue my vendor asked me to send uh, calls using prefix double four but I'm using another prefix 232 which is wrong so I will go to edit routing prefix and here I will add two three two double four replaced by double four now what what is going to happen okay first of all let me give you one example I will only add two three two now this time uh, again call format will will go you know wrong because 232 is only the prefix I'm not removing I'm no you know I'm not removing the country code I'm not removing the com country code but here I am adding the country code again so it is very compulsory I must add the country code as well so I'm you know in this uh, my customer is dialing with uh, prefix 232 and the country code is double four now I'll just OK, press OK, apply, make the call, which means there is nothing wrong with my routing. Now it's working perfectly. Now if I go back to CDR, if I press, you know, filter button, you can see I hang up the call. Now let me take one more example. Uh, I'll go to, you know, rates and I'll enter a rate which is not on, on this list I'll make just a random number starting with double three just random number Call was failed so I will go back to CDR and filter and find out the issue no available route again oh I again you know Entered. Hold on, let me see. It's supposed to give you know a different error code, but okay. Now let's create another uh, you know uh, error code. I'm going to dial this number. I get an error message I'll filter no available route which means the prefix in routing gateway is not there so I'll just go there and if even if I'll add zero this the problem with routing gateway will be will be solved you know okay now let's go back and number now let's see filter it again now get the error message rate not exist which means uh, the problem has to be with the rate management 
okay uh, we go there and we check the number we have dialed it, it was uh, starting with double zero six one so if I'll make an entry add double zero sixty one make it international and apply now if I press you know and check the CDR this this time the call was you know uh, was completed uh, but that but it was rejected by by the SIP server okay here uh, you can see if you know uh, from logs if there is no information regarding call gateway and call the IP which means some parameters are missing in your was configuration if the call is is you know uh, is successfully uh, sent to routing gateway then you will see all uh, you know gateway uh, information on CDR uh, well uh, this is just a brief introduction how to you uh, how to fix uh, you know find out the issues and fix them using CDR there are many more complex uh, situations uh, that may come into your production and those uh, issues can be fixed by you know uh, monitoring calls on uh, you know why CDR uh, I hope uh, this uh, video will provide some basic information to you bye bye